Hi everybody, Damien here from Trade the Fifth and GlobalTradingSoftware.com. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, we've recently updated our Elliott Wave Indicator for TradingView. Um, with this version, you can now actually set alerts for the different wave counts on your charts. Okay, so in order to be able to do this, um, you need to actually go into your charts. You need to remove the Elliott Wave that you have in there already. So you can see it's here. Just click this X here. Get rid of it. Then refresh your browser, then add Elliott Wave again. It will be in your indicators list as you normally would add it. And then what you need to do is you come over here to the right hand side. You see the little alarm clock here, that's for alerts. If you click on that, and then up here, you've got a little plus symbol next to the alert or the alarm clock here. So if you click that, you want to come down here to condition and you want to go down to the Elliott Wave. And then underneath the W5TEW, you can then see your wave one, two, three, and four. So then you just select that in. You can select it once per bar close, which is probably the best one, which means then it will trigger every single time. If you set it only once, it will only happen once and will never repeat itself. So do that. And then you can give yourself a little message. You can also set it up to pop up on your uh, on your screen, notify you on your app if you're using one. Uh, also send you an email as well. But you can put your own message in there as well. Um, so you can put in there Wave 4 and this one's a, a GBP, so you can put GBP USD. What will happen is you'll get an email or a pop-up saying Wave 4 on the GBP USD. Okay? It's very, very simple, very easy. Now, there are a couple of things I need to refer uh, remind you of, okay? First of all, you do need to make sure that you've isolated the wave count first, okay? So as a reminder, just in case you're not certain of exactly what we need to do here, isolating the wave count is basically setting the count from a specific point. You're telling the indicator where the start of a trend is, where the recent high or low is. So for example, here on GPUSD, I would say the, the, the low is here. So the candle is 25377. So you come up here, 25377, you put that in, let it do its calculation, give it a couple of seconds, and then it's recounted it, and as you can see, actually, it was a pretty decent uh, uh, fifth wave movement there that went through, so one, two, three, four, five. And your alert would have come in when that wave four would have, uh, would have painted, basically, okay? But please do make sure that you've done your isolation of the wave count first before you set your alert. Okay, it's, it's highly important that you, you get that done. The other thing that you need to remember is that every single alert has to happen for every instrument you're trading on every time frame. So it won't be a case of for this on the hourly, this will only highlight a fourth wave on GBP USD on the hourly. It will not happen on a five minute or 15 minute. If I wanted to do that, I would have to go down to the 15 minute. I would then have to set another alert for that. Okay, just so we're clear on that. Um, but that's it. It's pretty simple uh, when you know how, obviously. Um, but if you do have any problems or any questions, please feel free to email me info at tradethefifth.com. But thank you very much for your time.